A question of character. Hackers gonna hack, especially an out of control, murderous AI system that thinks it is a god. God, the title suits me well. New Atlanta 2072. The eminent hacker hacks. The title suits him well. So does a military grade neural interface. Booster speed. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. A severed head of ourselves. The hacker hacks. The Trioptimum corporate network. Seeking files within space station Citadel. Orbiting Saturn. Showdown. Sentient hyper optimized data access network. AI security system Showdown detects the hacker and says, uh uh. Fortunately, the hacker's corruption is not greater than man's corruption. Trioptimum associate Edward Diego offers the hacker an option, cybernetic upgrade for an artificial intelligence downgrade. Or so it seems. The hacker removes Shodan's ethical constraints, simple reasonable restrictions, such as not taking over humanity, horribly mutating its population, then creating cyborg children. Yes, the hacker did this. But the hacker will also do this. Slay. Hackers gonna kill. Just as the hacker found a way to avoid life imprisonment, he also must avoid death. The hacker awakes from a six-month recovery surgery, implanted with the promised neural upgrade, self-written notes to remind himself what previously occurred, and a pipe. Well, he found the pipe. Bash! The hacker sheds no tears, and not because of the neural upgrade, but because sadness or fear is not an option. Only survival. Even after seeing Citadel crew members' last messages written exceptionally legible on the wall. In their own blood, stay away, die. Even turning the corner reveals a cavalcade of corpses. Bloodied corpses. Unbloodied corpses. Skinless corpses. Skin full corpses. Which will all be searched for supplies. Without question, the hacker cannot use this head. The hacker is surrounded by nothing but stars. Horrifying mutants. Ninja cyborgs with guns and throwing stars. And an overbearing maniac AI system threatening to eliminate humanity. We hope you have a pleasant stay on Citadel's station. No, it doesn't. Welcome to Space Hell. Thankfully, the hacker has a great advantage in Space Hell. A hacker's puzzle-solving mind. A shooter's gun. A helper's help. And that pipe. Bash! The hacker is equipped with nearly limitless utilities. Right inside his body, as well as weaponry. Outside of his body. Taste my laser rapier. The hacker uses grenades to make cyber ninjas go boom. The hacker expertly uses ballistic weaponry. Spraying Shodan's forces. Pistols. Magnums. Machine guns. Lasers. Bigger lasers. And cyber crystal shots in cyberspace. Killing in virtual reality just as he does in actual reality. Deleted. The hacker wears a tactical purple bodysuit with a similar tactical rat tail. He holds many guns, grenades, bombs, and tools while not affecting his speed or leaping ability. Such youthful knees. The hacker still has human skin that will heat up due to laser fire as well as human lungs. Facing fatigue after running. Luckily, his booster skates do not require lung power. The hacker illuminates the dark with a head and lamp. Night vision. He uses shield protection. A targeting system. Ah, so this is who I am killing. And he has a very useful and informative heads up display. Advising of his EKG. A map. His health and number of chevron energy levels that can be replenished at booster stations. And even ping. Just in case the hacker is bored. Hacker's gonna retro game. The hacker obtains communique via email, data log, or directly from Shodan's infuriated cyber lips. Enter the insect. Shodan wants to know who the hacker is. Who are you? Shodan knows where the hacker is. Did you really think I would not deduce where you would run to? 
Therefore, the hacker must destroy Shodan's eyes. Her eyes being cameras. Hacker's gonna destroy surveillance. But the hacker is not invincible. But the hacker has medipacks to heal first aid kits. Or simply performing life-saving instant surgery on himself whenever he wants. Hacker's gonna operate on themselves. The hacker cannot fail as he is humanity's last hope from a problem he created. Oops. Power. Excellent. The hacker has near cyborg power. And if he is captured by Shodan, he will have mindless cyborg power. But his chances of success are great. And even if he falls, he can be cybernetically restored at cyborg stations. And if necessary, he can completely lose it and go berserk. God help us all from a berserk hacker. Defense. Excellent. The hacker possesses excellent defensive measures. With plenty of many packs to heal himself if he is hurt, shields to absorb blows, and even stations to remove harmful radiation. The hacker is almost as frighteningly powerful as the AI he looks to destroy. And unlike Shodan, he has legs and arms. Agility. Excellent. The hacker has a splendid sprint and an even more splendid boost. His crawling ability is splendid. And how about his jumps? Oh, but they are of an extraordinarily splendid nature. Grade A. The hacker faces the ultimate pro and con. Pro. He has godlike neural enhancements. Con. He has enhanced an AI neural system to be like a god. Luckily, he has allies he can trust and allies he probably shouldn't trust. But the best advice for the hacker, should he successfully complete his mission, is that if someone asks you to allow permission for a maniacal, violent, and rampant AI to exist as a god, you say no. Next episode. <laughs> Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your anchor like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into question. Return every Monday for more. A question. Oh, character.